Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome to the fast boat tutorial, or at least one aspect of making fast boats in From the Depths. And the short, like multi, uh, just a few second answer to this uh, problem is slopes and wedges on your craft in the direction you want to move fast, and that's basically it. But for the slightly more detailed explanation, I have set up a little drag race with uh, five, or more precisely three, different hulls, um, and they're all going to tootle off in the same direction. So you'll see I've already given orders to them to head off in that direction, and we're just going to talk about how and why they go the speed they do as they go. And they all have the same propulsion. They've got these uh, three spin blocks with wings on them, just because I couldn't be bothered to put an engine on any of these things, and away they go. So immediately they're going to... No, they're not going to collide with each other, thank goodness. So immediately you can see, it's not helped by the fact that uh, that they're wiggling around a bit, that this fella right here is not doing very well. So just like in real life with physics and all that jazz, uh, things that are round or sloped at the front uh, tend to go faster than things which are more blunt uh, because of air and water resistance. So this is an example of how not to do things, or rather how not to go fast. Uh, this fella is going uh, the not very good uh, speed of 5.7 meters per second at the moment. The top speed is 6 meters per second, which is pretty abysmal. Uh, over here, we've got something with slopes on it. So this is just a sloped front, uh, no wedges, just slopes, and it's trundling along at a much more reasonable pace. So even though it's bigger, uh, that's uh, the slopes on the front more almost double the length of it. Uh, this guy is going considerably faster. Top speed is around 11 meters per second. Uh, current velocity is just over 10. And over here, the wedges are just steaming along. 15 meters per second and switching back and forth between roughly 14, just under 14 to 15. So yeah, wedges are definitely the way to go. Uh, the, narrower, the narrower the front profile of your craft, uh, the faster it goes because it means uh, less resistance, less drag. And in the build menu, you can see the drag of pretty much uh, everything, uh, every slope block at the very least. So drag reduces 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.0.3 uh, for this triangle corner. Uh, the uh, slopes, so the 4 meter slopes, you can see right here, they all have the same drag. The drag is reduced to 0 0.1 uh, on the front uh, for this alloy slope. For the wedge, it's reduced to half of that, 0 0.05. And the wedge fronts here are even less, so... Wedges on the front, slopes on the side, and you're pretty much already going uh, home steady. But why are there four? Like, why are there two versions of each? Because it's not just about uh, slopes and how aero slash hydrodynamic the craft is. It's also uh, what medium it's moving through. So these are these are boats, these are ships, they're moving through water. But uh, some of them are less in the water than others. So you'll notice that uh, this guy here, uh, their no his, her, their, its nose is pointing out of the water a bit more than this one. And so it is pulling ahead a little bit. So this one's top speed is 11 meters per second. This one, uh, top speed is 12. So that's an extra one meter per second. How is it doing that? Uh, very, whoops, not that one. Uh, how is it doing that? Very simple. It has an air pump uh, in the front compartment, uh, which is causing the front to be more buoyant. So the nose is picking up out of the water a bit. And like a speedboat, it's uh, getting an extra one meter per second. So, similar thing is happening over here, although not quite. So this is the one without a pump, 15 meters per second. And this one is the one with a pump, but it's still 15 meters per second. So what's going on here? Uh, well, the reason for this is that this hull doesn't slope uh, as sharply as that. So adding more buoyancy doesn't do a hell of a lot because there's still um, the underside poking in there but it's still a valid means of making your craft go fast. So that is where, you know, that's why aircraft are faster than ships and why 
ships with a shallow draft tend to be faster than those with a deep draft, and why hydrofoils are tend to be the fastest thing in the water. So yeah, that's basically it. These are this is the very basic uh, way to uh, get your ships fast. And as you can see, uh, the wedge boats, delicious wedge boats, have uh, uh, won that drag race quite handily. So you'll see here. Uh, they've hit their destination, followed closely by the slope with an air pump, and then by the just the slope. And then this blunt thing over here is doing very, very poorly indeed. And I'd like to reiterate, these all have the same propulsion, so... Uh, yeah, your slopage and what medium you're moving through. The ambulance helicopter is moving through air, uh, presumably, so it's very fast and can go over hills in order to like take people to hospital man that's loud so yeah anyway that's basically how to make ship go fast the very basic principles of course you can just brute force it and have very uh like a lot of propellers you can stick propellers on the underside you can do clever things with custom jets you can make hydrofoil craft uh, i've made a hydrofoil craft tutorial before uh, do check that out uh, because it's the very simple principle of less water drag equals more speed. So yeah, that's basically it for how make ship go fast, uh, the basic version. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.